Hey there, kids. It's Mr. Zero of Mr. Zero's Terror Ride. I'm wearing my Nightmare on 13th beanie and my Nightmare on... Oh, I can't... You can't see how it's... Nightmare on 13th shades here. Yeah, I'm pimping them out. <laughs> um, as you may well know, this video is being recorded on October the 9th. Which, if you're anything like me, yesterday, which was October the 8th, you went out and bought, boom, The Curse of Chucky. Check it out. Woo! Um, and if you're anything like me and I'm busy, you weren't able to watch it until today. And if you haven't watched it at all, here's a review. So this is the case. I went ahead and spent the extra bucks, the extra ducats, and got myself the Blu-ray DVD digital version, simply because... I, I like extra features, and, you know, I'm always about the extra features, and Blu-ray has a few more extra features, so I got to get it. Uh, it has a nice little Blu-ray case, too. I always keep these. I don't know about most people, but I always keep the uh, extra case and uh, the little case cover, and I always keep them in there, but a lot of people I know throw them out. They don't take care of their cases either, but I'm a stickler for taking care of cases. So, what did I think of the movie? Um, this is a really good addition to the uh, franchise, I must say. Even for a movie, like, I've heard, like, some people say, well, it's only being released on DVD, and, you know, it's only being released for home use. It's not coming to theaters, so it can't be that good. I, you know, I, it's a shame that it didn't come out to theaters, but I really liked watching it right here in my room at home. Had a good time. I mean, I just got finished with it, like, you know, maybe a half hour ago. Went, got some chores done, said, I better vlog about this. So, yeah, excellent addition to it. Um, the scares are good. They they went back to the uh, Don Mancini, who wrote the entire franchise and directed this in Seed of Chucky. He uh, really used, um, made good use of uh, the old kind of bits that they did in the uh, in the original movie where it's like, oh, you know, we all know Chucky's alive, but they still played it up like, you know, they don't show him do anything till like well into the movie. They still do the bits where his eyes will move around and then you'll see his hand do something. And it was it was very very well done. Um props to Fiona Dorif, Brad Dorif's um daughter. She plays the protagonist in it. She does an excellent job. You get you know, feel very sympathetic for her and her situation, the whole movie. And it's just so very well played off. I think all the actors, though, did a really good job. Um, spoiler, uh, there's, Jennifer Tilly has a cameo. If you're at all into this movie, you already know that she's going to be in it. So she has a nice little um, good, bring some some comedy to, to the whole movie. Because this movie does not have a lot of humor in it, as the uh, past few films did. It has a, you know, maybe a taste of humor. But until Jennifer Tilly comes in, it's all broad. It's all broad humor. Um, critiques I do have about, of the film is they do have a few scenes where they have a fully CG Chucky. Um, and it doesn't look that great. Um, I remember going back in, like, the, the 90s, and you'd see, like, a CG effect. And, oh, it's so cool. And now you're like, oh, it doesn't look that good anymore. I'm not impressed. Um, really, the, you know, doing the bits with, pup with puppets and then using computers to enhance it works a lot better than just having a CG Chucky walking around. But, you know, what are you going to do? Um, and it's, there's really not a huge, a uh, large amount of CG Chucky, and they're just, you know, there's a lot of really good puppetry in this. Um, the Chucky in this, really creepy looking. The the doll that they've made, he's really creepy looking. Um, especially when, when he's finally revealed. Um, what else do I have to say about it? Uh, does it, does it scare me? No, but I don't expect it to. There's a blessed few movies that do. I'm sitting in a room full of dolls and clowns right now, and I'm not scared of watching a Child's Play movie. 
It's not why I watch them. I find them entertaining. Was it entertaining? Yes. Did I enjoy the movie? Yes. Um, also, there's some brilliant shots in this movie. Some brilliant, like, artsy little shots um, using split-screen stuff. Well, I wouldn't say split-screen style images, but clever ways of getting reactions from the actors. Clever ways of getting a reaction shot without showing their face. You can still tell what their reaction is. Um, and, yeah, just impressive, impressive uh, cinematography on that level, I guess. I'm not much of a, you check out the colors. The colors are wonderful in this one. It sort of tells you the story behind it. You know, I'm not one of those types of critics. But um, would I recommend it? F&A, yes. Go out, get it, buy it, add it to your collection if you're a Child's Play fan. If you're not, I, I don't know what to tell you. You suck. Love Child's Play. I mean, you know, it's always, it's like, <sighs> They're good. They're fun movies. They're fun horror movies. So, hold on. <laughs> okay, not any brains yet. So go out, pick it up. Go ahead, get the get the Blu-ray now. Come on, you know it's 2013. It's about time you get a Blu-ray, don't you think? Don't you think? If you got if you got 67 bucks lying around, go ahead, get a Blu-ray so that you can occasionally buy a Blu-ray. I know they're they're usually more expensive. Uh, I only own, like, three Blu-rays, but get one. It's always worth it with some movies. And, uh, yeah, end communication. All hail Chucky.